Beach. alfalfa plant that's uh, 37 weeks old. The, the rye where we pull the residue back it's green underneath it's like a, a, a dark green or I guess I should say a light green it's light green because it's looking for sunshine and the rye that's exposed is more of a dark green um, exposed to the sunshine I guess I should say exposed to the elements more of a dark green. Um, we got three rows we can see there one row two row three row, actually there's four rows in between this uh, 30 inch spacing. Um, plants, I uh, dug this up from a little ways away. This is a kale, a rape plant, 36, uh, 37 weeks old. These roots go down, I'm not sure how far, probably at least uh, five or six inches before I broke them off. This plant itself was probably alive because there just wasn't much corn residue uh, around this plant for had more sunshine to, to uh, go through and survive the winter. Uh, here's an alfalfa plant. I dug this up from a little ways away and I'm not sure if we can actually see this on the video but there's nodules. We had documented that before. Um, 37 week old um, clover plant. And going down digging. This is a rye. 16 weeks. These roots go down probably about three inches or so. That's it. I guess I was hoping we we're gonna have some more growth than that. We got three inch of top growth, uh, three inch of bottom growth for the uh, roots. And there's a, a slug here as well, or not a slug, but a white grub uh, for insect. There were earthworms that were in here as well too. They fell out. Um, so I got nothing here to show in the video. So we'll do a shot going down the cornfield. Uh, possibly we can roll it with the eyes. Maybe we can't see that in the uh, video.